This art lesson is sponsored by Netflix. Jack, who are we drawing today? Cuphead from Netflix's new animated series. Yeah, it's called The Cuphead Show. Which is based on the popular video game. Cuphead is this fast-talking wise guy that is really good at getting himself and his brother Mugman into trouble. I like the part where Cuphead blows up the fence with his cannon. Yeah, <laughs> and then he says, I think I used too much gunpowder. <laughs> The Cuphead Show is now streaming on Netflix, so be sure to check it out. But first, we're gonna draw Cuphead. We hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies, and we're first gonna use a pencil, then a marker. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. All right, you ready to start? Yes. We're first using our pencils so we can draw the general shapes of Cuphead. He's a big cup for a head. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna draw circles and guidelines to help us get the shapes right. So let's first start by drawing a big circle for his head, and I'm gonna press up dark, or I'm gonna press hard so that it shows up dark, so that our art friends can see it on the camera, but you guys can press lightly so it's easier to erase at the end. Nice, good job. Now let's turn this shape into a cup. We're gonna start right here. Oh, let's start on the front. And we're gonna draw his head tip back just a little bit. So we're gonna draw the side of the cup coming up from the edge of the circle on the right side, and then we're gonna draw that same edge coming up on the left side. And then we're gonna connect these two lines with a curve for the top of the cup. Nice. Now let's draw his body and we're gonna draw another circle, but we're gonna draw it a lot smaller and we're gonna leave a little space from the bottom of his chin. So we'll start maybe right about here and we're gonna draw a circle about this size. We can go back over it and press a little more firm so that it shows up darker. And if you wanna redraw it, you can. If you wanna make it smaller or bigger, and then go back in and erase any lines that you don't need. Oh, let's erase the top of the circle on the cup. Okay. Also made his body a little bit bigger down here. Okay, now let's connect his body into his head. We'll draw a little line right here. And we're gonna draw another line back here for the other side of his body. Then we're gonna draw his arms. We're gonna draw a curve coming out of his shoulder. We're gonna curve down and then stop right about there. And then let's draw the other side of his arm. We're gonna draw the same curve right next to it. And then let's draw his fist at the end. We're gonna draw a circle that's smaller than the body, about this size. I'm gonna go back over it a couple times just to make it darker. Now let's do the same thing for his right arm. Let's first draw the curve coming out of his shoulder and then down. Then let's draw the other side of the arm. We're gonna draw another curve, just like we did for the left side. And it's okay if it's a little messy because these are just guidelines. Yeah. Now let's draw the fist or the circle, the guide circle for his right fist. Go back over it, make it maybe a little bigger. There we go. And then if you redraw anything, just be sure to go back in and erase any lines that you don't want to keep. Now let's draw his leg. We're going to draw one of the legs in front of the other one. So we're going to draw two lines coming out of the bottom of his body, or his pants. And then we can draw an oval shape to connect those two lines. So this is the pants, or his shorts, the bottom of his shorts. Now let's draw his leg coming out of the pants. So we're gonna draw two lines coming out of that oval. Now we're gonna draw his shoe and we're gonna draw a big oval shape that's really big. So I'm gonna start right about here, maybe even make it a little bit bigger. And that's okay if you need to pause the video and take extra time to get these shapes just the way you want them. Yeah. I'm gonna erase some of these extra lines. Then let's draw his other leg. We're gonna draw a diagonal line connecting from the side of the body to his leg, his other leg. And then we're gonna draw his other shoe. Back here we're gonna draw a, kinda of looks like an oval shape that just connects from his pants to his leg. Let's add a few extra details. Let's come back here and we'll add the handle for the cup. We're gonna draw a big letter C. 
Then we can draw a smaller letter C inside to complete the handle. What's coming out of the top of his head? A straw. Yeah, and Cuphead's straw is bent. Mugman's is straight. straight. Yeah, that's one of the ways you can tell the difference. We're gonna draw a short diagonal line coming out, and then we're gonna draw it bent coming this way to the left. Now let's draw the other side of the straw. We're gonna come up next to it, then we're gonna curve up at the top and then to the left. And then right here at the end, we're gonna connect these two lines with a curve so that the straw looks 3D. Now that we have all of the general shapes for Cuphead, we're gonna to switch to our marker. Let's first start on his face and we're gonna draw his nose. We're gonna draw a small oval shape. We're gonna draw it right in the middle, but to the right, just a little. We're gonna draw it about this size. Yeah. And then directly above, well, kind of at a diagonal angle, we're gonna start up here and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down. And then right at the end, we're gonna curve into his nose. Then we're gonna imagine it going behind his nose, curving around and then back up right at the end. Now let's draw his other eye. We're gonna start right here at the middle and we're gonna draw the other side of his eye where his other eye coming over to the left. And we're gonna stop right about here where his cheek will be. And then we're gonna draw a backwards letter C. Then we're gonna imagine the eye going through his cheek and coming up and connecting to the top of the cup. Now let's draw his mouth. We're gonna start right here in his cheek and we're gonna draw a curve that comes under his nose and right here next to the cup, we're gonna curve around and we're gonna keep going under his chin and then back into his cheek. There you go, keep going. Nice, you did it. Then right here at his cheek, let's add a little wrinkle on the top and we can add a little wrinkle down at the bottom too. Let's draw his tongue inside of his mouth. We're gonna draw a heart shape like that. Now let's draw his pupils and we're gonna draw a big oval shape. We're gonna start on the left side and we're gonna draw an oval shape that comes up like this Watch, we're gonna come down and then back up, but we're not gonna connect. We're gonna leave a little space. And then let's draw this, a sideways letter V. There we go, that's one eye. Now let's draw the other eye and we wanna draw it the same size, same shape. We're gonna start here. We'll draw a big oval shape, come around, but then leave a, a gap or a space right here on the left. And then we'll draw that sideways, letter V, to finish the eye. Now let's draw the top of his eyebrows, the top of his eyes. We're gonna come up and then back down. And we'll do the same thing on the right side, up and down. We did it. Now let's trace the outside shape of the cup of his head. So we'll trace across the top And then we're gonna draw a big letter U to finish that shape. So we're gonna curve down around his chin. And then we can, if you want to, you can come back up here on the right side and draw down and then connect. Sometimes that makes it a little easier to stop and then come back up. Yeah. Now let's draw the handle. I'm gonna draw the inside and just trace over the guidelines and then also the outside. And some of this part, we might go too fast because we're tracing over our pencil lines. So remember to always pause the video if you need more time. Okay, now let's draw the straw. We're gonna draw the inside first or the, the short part. Then we're gonna draw the curve coming out. And let's draw the top or the other side of the, the straw bending and coming into the cup. Also thought it was funny when he put a fish inside of his cup and then you could see him swimming around oh, yeah. in his eyes. <laughs> then we're gonna connect the end of the straw 
Let's use that same curve to add two more lines right here for a stripe. And then we're going to add a stripe going this way on the part going down. Now we're ready to draw his body. Let's start with the arms. I'm going to start at the shoulder, trace over the curve coming down to his hand. And let's start here at his armpit, and we're going to draw the other side of his arm coming down. Now let's draw his glove. We're going to start here and draw a small upside down U shape. And then let's draw the outside of the glove coming down, and then we're going to stop right about here. Let's draw a really small curve that traces over the pencil line. And then we're going to draw his hand coming in, and then we're going to draw his thumb coming out and then connecting to the middle of that curve. It's kind of tricky, but there you did go. it. Good job. Now let's draw the other fingers. We're going to start here, and we're going to draw a curve that comes out of the circle and then connects where the thumb connected. Let's draw another finger right next to it, connecting. And then one more, and this one can come out a little further and then connect it. Now he has three little marks on the outside of his glove, and they look like raindrops. So we're going to add one, two, three. He did it. Now let's repeat those same steps for his other arm. We're going to start here and his glove. We're going to start here, trace over. I'm going to Stop a little short of the circle though. I'm not going to connect to the circle. Then let's draw the other side of his arm, trace over the pencil, and stop. Then let's draw that. We're going to repeat all the same steps. We're going to draw that short, upside down U shape. Now this is a little different because you won't see his thumb on this hand. So we're going to draw this curve first. We're going to come around like this and stop right about there. Then we're going to draw the first finger. We're going to start inside of the circle, curve outside, and then connect in. Let's leave a little space and do the same thing. We'll curve out and then connect to the other finger. And for the last finger, we're going to start all the way up here, curve down, and into the other finger. Nice. Now let's add those same three marks on his glove. They look like raindrops. So the bottom of the shape is a little thicker than the top. We'll add one, two, and three. Nice. Now let's draw the rest of his body. We're going to start here and connect into the circle. And then we'll draw the front of his belly right here. Now for his pants, we're going to start here next to his leg, and we're going to trace over the pencil line all the way across the top. We're going to come over to the other side of his leg and then stop. Now with the pants, let's draw the oval first, or the shorts, I mean. Let's draw the oval for the end of the shorts, and then we'll draw the lines coming up from that oval into his body on each side. Now let's draw his legs and we're going to draw the two lines coming out of the shorts and then we're going to stop a little short of the shoes. And they look a little bit like the gloves so we're going to draw that small upside down U shape. Now let's draw the front of the shoe first. We're going to use the guidelines but change it a little bit. We're going to start here and we're going to curve up past the oval and then we're going to connect back into the oval, come around for the heel and then into his leg. Nice. You did it. Now let's draw the bottom of his shoe. We're going to start here and we're going to trace over the pencil line, but then we're going to change it and we're going to come down and then connect into the heel.
Let's draw another line right next to it, but we're not gonna go all the way, we'll stop about there. And we could draw a little detail right here on the heel too, if you want. On the bottom of his shoe, he has a line going straight across. Nice, now we're ready to draw his other leg and shoe. Now most of the leg is hidden, so let's first just draw a diagonal line here for the other leg or his shorts on the other side. Then we're gonna draw a small letter C. And then we're gonna draw another detail right next to it. This is for the top of his shoe. And then we're gonna draw another one right here. Yeah, now let's trace around the pencil. We're gonna start up here at the heel, come down. And at the very bottom, we can make it kind of flat right here, like he's stepping on the ground. And then we're gonna curve up and connect into his shorts. Let's go past the shorts and we're gonna make it look like his shoe is bending. Like there's a little wrinkle. So we draw a little curve there and let's draw another one right above it. Okay, this same detail on the bottom of his shoe, we're gonna trace around the outside and then across the front. Jack, we did it, we finished drawing Cuphead. Your drawing turned out so cool. And I love that they don't look exactly the same. They're both turning out awesome. Yeah, I think they're looking really cool. And it's okay if your drawings are looking different too, because I'm sure they're turning out awesome. The most important thing is to have fun. And to practice. Practice, remember to practice. All right, let's color our drawings. Okay. But before we do that, let's switch to our eraser and we're gonna erase all of the pencil lines or the guidelines that we can still see. Now this part we are fast forwarding, so remember to pause the video, take time to erase your guidelines, and at the end of the video, we'll tell you what colors we used to color our drawings so that you can color yours too. Okay. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Jack, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring Cuphead. He turned out awesome. Yeah, he looks so much better colored in. I hope our art friends will take time and pause the video and match our same coloring. We used a light yellow, kind of a gray color for the cup and also his legs. We also used red for the straw and his pants. And yellow for his gloves. Yeah. We hope you have fun drawing Cuphead with us. I'm sure your drawings turned out really cool. We love drawing with you. We do, we love drawing with you so much and we also wanna say thank you to Netflix for sponsoring this video and we'll see you later our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.